Hello everyone, back tuning in to today's first video, doing the weather forecast for the week ahead for the UK for today's first video. As always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the next seven days. And we are going to be seeing the weather on the chain. So we're going to see an increasing risk of uh, rain, particularly uh, towards the second half of the week. Showers, possibly thunderstorms, maybe even some longer spells of rain coming through. So the prolonged dry spell that we've been in uh, pretty much since the end of May, it looks like that's winding down. However, temperatures are going to stay quite warm, particularly so in the southeast, it's going to be fairly humid. We're starting off hot for this weekend. Temperatures will cool down from that level, but um, it's going to stay pretty warm for the weekend. So it's not a complete breakdown, it's a partial breakdown. I talked about this in the second video yesterday, a partial breakdown, particularly in terms of the dry spell, almost you could say a drought that we've been in. Uh, I think that will be breaking in the week ahead, but it's not a definitive breakdown, and I'll explain the reason why as we go along. Uh, before we get on with that, though, just to say that day's second video, we'll have a look at the 10-day uh, forecast. Uh, we'll have a look and see what the uh, e 7 GM and all of the uh, GFS uh, models are showing for today's uh, second video update. Mate, you'll be able to find that on the homepage. The websites, uh, the websites we're using for the weekend forecast coming from the weatherout.com and wettercentral.d. Starting with the radar picture from the weather outlook. So there's a lot of dry weather across the country today, but we have got some cloud and showery rain in the far north and northwest of Scotland. Uh, it looks very sporadic. There's, uh, there's uh, a sort of broken nature to this rain, so it's not continuous, persistent rain. I think it will start to get more persistent, though, in the very far northwest of the country through the course of particularly this evening and overnight. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather, mostly dry across the whole country. Clouds are bubbling up. It's very sunny. It was a very sunny morning, but clouds are bubbling up a little bit this afternoon. That might allow one or two showers to break out uh, this afternoon. Here's today's hot pressure chart. So it's this area of low pressure that's in the Atlantic with its uh, weather fronts ahead of it. That's bringing this cloud and showery rain to the very, very far northwest of Scotland. But most places are still under the area of high pressure being in for so uh, very long now. So for the rest of this afternoon, we'll see cloud and rain become increasingly persistent actually across the far northwest of Scotland. But the rest of the country will stay dry and fine uh, with sunny spells and uh, variable cloud. Clouds are bubbling up, and so this could allow one or two light showers to break out through the course of this afternoon. Nowhere near as heavy as the torrential uh, showers that we had in one or two places yesterday, uh, and nowhere near as widespread as those either. Many, many parts of the country will stay dry this afternoon. Temperatures are warming up again under this ridge of high pressure, so we'll see temperatures going to uh, generally uh, uh, between around, say, 18 and uh, 28 degrees today. So that's somewhere from the mid-60s uh, to kind of like the mid-80s Fahrenheit. But down in the southeast, we might see temperatures in the centre of London going to 30. 30 is 86 uh, in Fahrenheit. I should say that 18 to 28 would be uh, low uh, um, mid-60s to low 80s Fahrenheit, but in the far southeast, you might get temperatures to uh, the mid 80s Fahrenheit at 30 uh, degrees. Overnight tonight, well, that low pressure gets a little bit closer, so we'll find the cloud becoming uh, more widespread across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Many places up there will have a cloudy night. The rain will get heavier and more widespread as well, particularly in the northwest of Scotland and also coming down into Northern Ireland too. There might even be some dampness coming over to the eastern side of Scotland by the end of the night. The rest of the country, which of course is England Wales, are going to stay dry with a mix of clear spells and bearable cloud. We've got a warm night, temperatures ranging from around uh, 13 to 17 degrees Celsius. Overnight and into tomorrow, we're going to find this low pressure getting closer again. So it's where we'll be pushing further into the country. It means that the Scotland and Northern Ireland have quite a cloudy day with outbreaks of uh, rain. Some of that rain could be quite persistent and heavy through the morning. It probably turns lighter and more showery through the course of the afternoon. By the end of the afternoon, it probably be threatening the far 
northwest of England. But the bulk of England and Wales will be dry, sunny and hot tomorrow. It'll be a hotter day than today. Temperatures might reach 32 degrees in the centre of London. It's a men's final at Wimbledon. It'll be very, very hot for that, I think. Temperatures could reach 32 degrees, 90 Fahrenheit tomorrow in the centre of London. More typically, again, seeing temperatures uh, between around, say, 25 and 30 degrees, 77 to 86 in Fahrenheit. Then we get through to Monday, and that weather will be moving further south and east. So it's a slow old process, but it's gradually pushing that weather front down across England and Wales. For East Anglia and South East England, we'd like to have another mainly dry, sunny and hot day with, again, the temperature potentially approaching 32 degrees, 90 Fahrenheit. Across Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England will have cloud outbreaks of rain first thing. That will move down through Northern England, Wales and southwestern England during the morning and then head into the Midlands and central southern England through Monday afternoon to Monday evening. It'll be a weakening feature as it comes south. So you'll probably start off quite wet, actually, through parts of Scotland, northern England, Wales, and the southwest of England with some quite heavy rain. But as that rain gets into the Midlands, and eventually by Monday night, it'll even get into the southeast. But it'll be a weakening feature, turning more showery in nature. One or two of those showers could be quite heavy, though. Um, but uh, it's a weak weather front. Behind that front it turns brighter, cooler and fresher across Scotland, Northern Ireland and eventually northwestern parts of England too. So big range in temperatures on Monday, just 16 degrees in the far northwest of Scotland. That's when we can switch around to 61 Fahrenheit. But again, 32 is possible in the centre of London and further southeast and that, that is 90 Fahrenheit. Now that front will push through the country overnight Monday to Tuesday as a very weak feature, but it will change the air mass, so Tuesday will be a rather cooler and fresher day, but still very warm, really, uh, especially so in the southeast. We'll have a mix of sunny spells and a few scattered showers across the country. I'll be fairly light, probably not amounting to too much, but uh, just a slightly fresher, uh, cooler feel to things on Tuesday, with temperatures ranging from around, again, say 61 to 25 uh, degrees, 2577. That's Wednesday, and at this point it's becoming rather complicated because uh, our jet stream remains very sluggish, very broken, generally to the north of the country. So nothing's really being pushed through, but uh, we are seeing these little areas of low pressure starting to develop close to the country. So the atmosphere is beginning to wobble, beginning to turn a little bit more unsettled. But finding where the showers and more general areas of rain are going to be through this middle last stage of the week is pr proving rather problematic and it's changing from run to run. Wednesday probably starts off mostly dry with sunny spells, but we may have cloud and outbreaks of rain in towards uh, Ireland, Wales and southwest England through the morning and then that rain could spread northwards and eastwards across other parts of England and Wales during the course of Wednesday afternoon, leaving Scotland and northeastern parts of England mainly dry with sunny spells. Temperatures again somewhere from around say 16 or 17 in the north to around 24 or 25 in the south. Now on Thursday this latest run of the GFS is more unsettled than the earlier GFS run but this latest run is actually placing an area of low pressure across England and Wales. So this implies increasingly unsettled conditions towards the end of the week. So Thursday could bring heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms and possibly even some longer spells of rain to particularly England and Wales. But we might see that starting to spread northwards in towards Northern England, Northern Ireland and Scotland by the end of the day. Again, the rain might not be as widespread as this is suggesting, but I do think as we go further on into the week, the risk anyway of showers or downpours does start to become uh, more, more widespread, uh, more, uh, much greater as we move through to the end of the week. Temperatures could still be quite warm and humid in the southeast, up to the mid 20s Celsius, but in the north and west, rather cooler and fresher up there. And then we're through to Friday and we've got this shallow trough over top of the country gradually starting to push eastwards. So Friday could again have the risk of heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms, 
possibly longer spells of rain quite widely across the country. Eventually, as this trough is moving away, western areas could turn drier and brighter as this ridge begins to head towards us from the Atlantic. Temperatures probably edging down as well, so even in the southeast, maybe only into the low 20s Celsius by Friday, sort of 22, 23, which is actually about average of the 20th of July, but it will feel a lot cooler compared to recent days. In the north and the west, temperatures there are sort of uh, mid to upper teens Celsius, so quite a bit cooler in the north and the west of the country. I'm going to go through to next weekend, signs of another change as this ridge begins to head back towards us from the Azores. So as we get through to Sunday uh, next week, as we get through to kind of like the end of next weekend, the Azores High is re-establishing over the country, probably bringing increasingly dry and warm conditions, maybe quite humid uh, conditions as well. But I would have thought a fair amount of cloud might be getting dragged up from those west to southwest wind. But the trend for next weekend is drying and warming uh, again. Finally, just having a look at charts of weather out. So lots of dry weather coming up today and very warm to locally hot down in the southeast. Even hotter in the southeast tomorrow, but the north and the west is dull and wet, particularly for western Scotland and down to Northern Ireland. There's that band of uh, cloud and rain moving southwards and eastwards during Monday, uh, uh, turning sh more showery as it does so. Hot in the southeast ahead of that front, cooler and fresher uh, following along behind. Uh, free to Tuesday, so scattered showers across the country, but also a lot of dry weather. Temperatures are lower, but still pretty warm, to be honest, down in the south and the southeast. And then through to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, there's just a growing threat of heavy showers, maybe longer spells of rain, possibly with some thunder uh, breaking out towards the second half of the week. But the detail on that is very difficult to ascertain at the moment. So you're going to have to firm up on it over the next few days. It's possible we will have some fairly widespread rain at the end of the coming week, in the second half of the coming week. But at the moment, uh, the models are chopping and changing from run to run, and they're upgrading and then downgrading uh, the rain for the second half of the coming week. So we do have to keep an eye on it and see just how widespread these downpours uh, will become. By next weekend, we're probably going back towards the Azores high again. So, in summary, where well, we're starting off very warm to hot for this weekend, rain in the northwest, but otherwise mostly dry, and then through the coming week, we're going to have an increasing risk of showers, downpours, possibly thunderstorms, especially in the second half of the week. Temperatures after a hot start will begin to edge down. And that's weekend forecast, so uh, that's that done and dusty. Coming up, coming up later on today, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days, so come back for that. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.